Hi everyone. My name is Maya Kelman and I'm the lunch coordinator for the lunch program. I wanted to kind of navigate you through what a typical day would be like for a lunch volunteer. What you would normally do is come in this door. The other door is usually locked. So I'm going to take you through here. Follow me. Typically when you come in, the kids have not come in for lunch yet. Um, and every once in a while the vendor will beat you here. If they have not beat you here, um, what you want to do is unlock this door for them by placing this under the door, just wedging it so that they can get in. And they'll bring all the food in packs kind of like this. And what you want to do, the first thing actually that you want to do when you come in is besides lock the door, unlock the door, is you want to turn the warmers on. Okay, and let those warm up. So once the vendors do come in, you will unpack the uh, containers by, the vendors usually pack them by product. So you want to pick them all up. Unlock this by pulling this and pulling that back. You can either stack the food in these bins and place them right in here, or if you choose, you can just stack the food directly in here. My suggestion is to stack the food by product. So let's say, for example, you have um, three different kinds of wraps. You would stack the um, turkey wraps up here and maybe the chicken wraps down there so that way you can find them easier. Then what you want to do is grab this book place it on the counter for the kids and it is set by first thing we have is all our contact information so we have all the vendors with their contact information and then the schedule is done by day so Monday you then have kindergarten first second third and so on Tuesday first second third Wednesday and Thursday so you want to pull out kindergarten and first and just to show you, we typically have about 10 or so lunches in all. And this is what first session does. This is what the first session lunch does, the first shift. You grab a cooler, uh, probably the, the larger cooler, and there are heating packs in there. Grab the heating packs and put those these heating packs. You want to take these and come around to the microwave. That's over there. That was up there. Pop them in there. You can put two or three heating packs at a time. And you hit your start. Oop, maybe not. Uh, About minute. how many minutes? Yep, quick minutes. You quick want to minute. put it in for three minutes and then you hit start. And once they warm up, you take these, put them in the, in the cooler, and pack the lunches, set that aside, and somebody will come get those. So again, that's kindergarten and first grade. After that, you just set the book out here. When the kids come in, you ask them to look up their grade, and look up their lunch, and come to you to the warmer, and you hand them their lunch. And once they're out of here, you can sit down and read a book. <laughs> um, once you are done, second session or second shift would put this book away back up on the shelf, turn the warmers off, take all that food, put it in the refrigerator that's in this same room. 
back here. This is our refrigerator. This one is meant for the students to live on in the cooking class. So this goes back up here. If any of the kids need any forks or utensils, extra we have up here. And we have some ketchup and mustard and stuff up here. Um, if students forget their lunch, um, we send them to Miss Nancy. We usually have extra lunches frozen, so she will direct them once they get up there. If any teachers want to get any of the lunches that are left over, they are welcome to get lunches from the day before. Um, kids that are absent sometimes show up later in the day and want their lunch, so we direct them to to pick up, to, to grab any leftovers from the day before. And that's pretty much it. Thanks for volunteering.